Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the glitch effect. So the image was like that and after adding the glitch effect, we are getting that. The another name of the glitch effect is the RGB separation. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, I'm going to the home or you can just go to the file and open up. So you can import any kind of photo. I downloaded a photo from unsplash.com for the sample image or stock image for your practice purpose or for the example. So this one is our main image and duplicate this one by dragging and dropping in a plus sign or you can press Ctrl or command J whichever you do prefer. This one, this one will give the name rate. So rate for the R. And turning off the background layer, right press and blending options. From here, turn off all the colors, only keep the red color sign over there. Select over there. Okay, then hit the OK button. And then again, press Ctrl or Command J. I'm just copying this one, and this one will be G, that means green. And now, again, double press over there and turn off the R, give the G and turn off the blue then hit ok now again press ctrl or command j or you can keep it like that so here this one will be blue and here double press and turn off the g give the tick of the blue so in this case you are getting the all the steps is right now that means the same as it is so if you turn it off or on it doesn't matter so this one and this one will work with that. So this one will just uh, move into left to right side and this one reverse. So press the shift and hold it right right arrow key just press three or four times. Okay. And this one press the shift and hold it and the right arrow key three or four times. So you're getting this type of effect and this one that's good. And now time to crop just crop it out this portion this portion okay and hit the tick button okay uh, this one actually that's good okay now uh, i'll add the grain and other steps so before that so let's see how to make these type of lines going to the illustrator taking a new artboard which is uh, any kind of artboard actually and hit the create button before that make it uh, like a vertical if your photo is a in a portrait mode make this artboard in a portrait and landscape if it is landscape press the landscape mode okay hit the create button and after taking the artboard going to the uh, shape tool uh, actually rectangle and make the like this type of uh, rectangle turn off the stroke and make the fill color into black okay make it a little bit zoom or making it like this you have to press the option or alter button and press the shift and hold it and then drag it so now yeah and now press ctrl command d in this case you are getting the full uh, like uh, aligned line uh, is just appearing after by after okay just fill it up okay our line is ready and you can just copy all the steps press ctrl or command c press ctrl or command v and hit the ok the pixels and hit ok and press ctrl or command t making it bigger by pressing shift and alter or option button and hit the tick button and then making it to blending mode uh, any kind of blending mode color dodge that's good and the fill and opacity you can correction do okay select all the things right press and convert to smart object now time to add the uh, like a grain effects so going to the filter and then texture and then grain from here you'll find the grain like this so here the option the grain the intensity the grain intensity and contrast so not too much yeah that's fine the value of the intensity 43 and the contrast that is 56 and hit ok it's getting you or giving you these type of things so here the before and after you are getting like that 
in this case you can make the uh, adjustment of the light how to do that controller command and shift a for the that is the camera filter from here you can add some like this and vibrance down dehaze actually like this and hit ok this one is the easiest way to rgb separation or glitch effect so this one is the secret of the glitch effect that means you are separating the r and g and b that is the thing you can make easily in your photoshop so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye